Scott Anderson with Santerra Martha Jefferson Hospital. He's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Hey, thanks for having me. Yes, we are happy to have you. And we are talking about Drug Take Back Day. It's coming up this Saturday. Uh, tell us some of the details for the event. Uh, so Saturday is the DEA's National Drug Take Back Day. It's uh, nationwide law enforcement from across the country participates. Santerra Martha Jefferson Hospital is partnered with the Albemarle County Police Department to host an event, uh, to host the event in two sites. We'll be out from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, taking back any household unwanted household medications. Uh, this includes prescription items, non-prescription items, as well as syringes and sharps. Awesome, awesome. Um, where, uh, what are community members able to drop off? You said that a little bit, but tell right. us a little bit more in detail about what people can drop off and what the two locations are. Sure, so we're gonna be at the main hospital over on Pantops. Uh, we'll be in the back parking lot. So if you come into Martha Jefferson Hospital from State Farm Boulevard, Go around to the back side of the hospital where patient transport is. You'll see everybody out there, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, the other location is out in Crozet. It's Sentara Crozet Family Medicine, same hours, 9 to 1. And they'll be taking, again, uh, prescription items, over-the-counter items, anything that's expired or unwanted, um, sharps, diabetic needles. They'll take everything. Uh, the medications don't have to be in the original containers. If you're bringing anything that's sharp, please put it in a uh, something that's puncture proof. So either a red sharps container or a laundry detergent bottle. That's great. Um, why is it so important that these items be properly disposed of? I know a lot of people say, oh, I could just flush them, I could throw them away. Right. Why is this so important? Well, if you look at, at how much of the items are, are returned to us, we last year across the state, they collected 18,000 pounds at the last event across the state of Virginia. Uh, that's a lot of medications that didn't end up in the landfill and didn't end up in the wrong hands. Yeah, yeah, so it's a really, really important event. And okay. if someone doesn't want to hold on to medication uh, until they hear about events like this. Is there something they can do well, if they want to get rid of things at other times? We do have a permanent drop-off box at Sentara Martha Jefferson at the outpatient pharmacy, but that's for pills only. I can't take any type of liquids or creams or ointments or inhalers uh, or any type of sharps, and that's why this event on Saturday is such a big deal because they take everything. Awesome. So one more time, just so people know, um, sure. what are the times and the locations it's, one more time? Yeah, Pantops, Martha Jefferson Hospital, back parking lot, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and then out in Crozet at Crozet Family Medicine, uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Awesome, this Saturday. Thank you so much. A anything else you want to add real quick before no. we go? If you can't make it out there, check the DEA's website because there are there's a site locator. There are other sites that are participating as well. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here hey, with thanks us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we'll have you back soon. And Steve, back over to you.